Have you ever wished you were just given a simple framework to go from $0 all the way to 51k a month with automation? If you're overwhelmed with all these shiny tools, AI agents, or those crazy NA10 workflows that look cool, but I should make you any money, then this video is going to get you back on track. It's not flashy, it's practical, boring stuff that actually gets the job done. So let's get into it. Okay, so this is going to be a practical step-by-step -step where I'm going to walk you through how to grow a sales team agency from $0, literally $0, all the way to 51 k a month. Okay. First of all, what makes me qualified to talk about this stuff? Well, I've grown a sales team agency from $0 all the way to 139k a month. And I've also spoke with hundreds of beginners, freelancers, and entrepreneurs in the automation space. And I also currently consult with dozens of sales team agency owners that are doing 40 to 50k a month. Okay. So these are the three stages that you will have to go through in order for you to hit 51k a month with sales systems or with your sales automation or your automation agency. Okay. Let's call this the hero's journey. Journey, all right, the, the 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 beautiful archetype of the hero's journey that goes outside and leaves his or her family because I mean, hero applies to men and a woman, right? Fun fact: thirty percent of my viewers are actually females, so it applies to every human on earth. The hero that leaves his or her household to go to the wilderness achieve success and come back with resources. Okay. So the first stage that we're going to talk about, which is the lone wolf stage. Okay. Which what I like to call the trenches, basically you, a laptop and some hunger, which is essentially how I got started because to give you guys some context, I was a nightclub bouncer. I was basically punching people for a living. So back then, I used to be a nightclub bouncer working from Monday to Friday. And during the day, I was trying to code, learning how to code. So I like to call this the transfers. Basically, you, a laptop, and some hunger. So you have no team, no budget, just resourcefulness, okay? So this is the phase before the family. So at this point, you guys, you're not scaling. You're literally just surviving, proving the offer, and closing your very first deal. Deals, okay, so I'm going to walk you guys through each bottleneck that you're going to have to encounter the limiting beliefs that you're going to have because I've been through it and I've seen hundreds of beginner freelancers and entrepreneurs in this AI automation space encounter. Okay, so at this stage, I want you guys to really, really pay, pay attention to this. Okay, your biggest bottleneck isn't delivery systems or scaling. The biggest, most straightforward bottleneck is that you don't have enough people to talk to. Okay. Give that some thought, right? So your main bottleneck is pipeline. So 90% of your time should go here. It should be in going into the marketplace, outreach, talking to people, trying to sell your automation, trying to sell your sales system, etc. Like you, you, do, you do not need to be optimizing. I know you're spending 24 hours of your day trying to build this crazy NSN workflow when in reality, this doesn't make you any money. Okay. What makes you money is talking to other people and trying to sell and get on all sales calls and starting conversations with potential leads, potential prospects, potential clients. Okay. And literally speaking to them and trying to sell. So the main bottleneck is pipeline. So 90% of your time goes here. So I want you to forget about building systems for stuff that isn't broken yet. Okay. So here's what you should be focused on, right? So your focus should be on getting real conversations, just like I said, get into a yes or not now from a prospect that is interested in your sales system or sales automation or automation in general. And if you're not waking with at least five to 10 conversation in your inbox every week, you don't have a business. I'm sorry to break it to you, but you don't have a business. You have a hobby and you are literally trying to dress up as someone who is productive when in reality you're not and you're just spinning your wheel. Okay. I've been there. This is the biggest mistake I've made when I first got started. So your main bottleneck that you have right now is outreach. So you need to be talking to other people. All right. So this is the main bottleneck. So from zero, literally zero dollars all the way to your first, very first few clients, it should be just outreach. All right. Now, how to get started? Because I'm not just going to give you theory, guys. I'm also going to give you practical step by step on how to actually get started. So what you need is one, you need a clear niche, right? Pick any B2B niche, for example, recruitment firms, B2B SaaS logistics, etc. You also need a clear offer. Okay. If you don't know how to build a clear offer, make sure to go through my channel. You will see that I have multiple videos on how to actually build a, like an irresistible offer. Okay. You need a clear offer that fixes the money problem. Hint, sales systems, not time. Okay. Not saving time, making more money, which is sales systems. Okay. A lot of like a big mistake that people make in this space is they try to build automation that's 
like saves time. Nobody cares about saving time. All right. We only care or the businesses only care about making more revenue, making more money. So why don't you just sell that? Right. Why, why are you trying to sell things that people don't want, can't afford? Why are you doing this? Okay. What you need is basically a list of prospects, which is basically a simple lead list. You can scrape Apollo, LinkedIn. Again, I have multiple videos about this in the, in my channel. So go ahead and watch these videos. And you also need some sort of like infrastructure. What I mean by infrastructure is basically the ship, the ship that's going to help you to reach out to this prospects, potential prospects, potential leads, potential clients. Okay. So you need 15 to 20 emails to use in your outreach because guess what? We were doing outreach. We need to talk to other people because that's how like any business starts. Okay. Think about it. When you first get started, you don't have any brand. You don't have any uh, personal brand. You don't have money to spend on ass. So if you're not literally talking to people, trying to do outreach every single day, what are you doing? You know, at this point, you're not scaling yet. You're just proving the market wants what you're offering. All right. So now we're going to talk about the second thing, which is taking advantages of the first few bites. Okay, this is really important. I want you guys to really pay attention to this. Okay, so let's say you took my advice and now you're doing your outreach. Great. Congratulations. I'm proud of you. Okay, now you got a couple people interested. Maybe you even booked a meeting, which is awesome, right? So now your system is working. Well, go stalk the hell out of these interested leads. Now, I know you might be thinking, Saad, well, what are you talking about? Isn't that creepy? Well, let me just explain. Okay, it's actually very, very simple. So when you get a couple interested replies, right? So here's what to do. Go on their website and look for phrases they use. All right. Look for keywords that are constantly being mentioned in their website because these words equal keywords of companies that are similar to them. Think about it. Companies that are similar to them. Well, guess what now? If they replied positively or shown any kind of interest to your outreach, well, plug them again into Apollo or LinkedIn and find 20 more companies just like them. Because think about it. If one said, yeah, there's a thousand more just like them who might too. And now you're not just guessing. You've seen real interest from the real market. That's your spark. Now we should turn it into a fire. Okay. That's exactly what I've done, right? Now, when you first got started, well, you pick the niche, right? You, you had like just a normal copy. You do not need to nerd out about it. Basically, just have a good copy with a clear offer, clean pain point that's going to solve with your automation is going to solve. Okay. Now, since you got a positive replies and you went through, the, through their websites and you've identified the keywords and the vertical, the exact niche that they are in. Well, now narrow your message into this exact type of business. It's very simple, right? So adjust your offer if needed to to fit what worked, all right? And double down on what's working before you try to scale. Very simple, right? Now, since you took advantage of the first few bites, well, now we need to make some noise, okay? Let me explain what that means. So now that you prove that your system works, well, you need to make some noise. So you got your first client, game on, right? The game just got started, right? Now your job is very simple. Make your client so happy that they can't shut up about you. And at this point, you're not just doing client work. You're not just handling fulfillment. You're not just handling delivery. You are literally building the proof you'll use to close your next five to 10 clients. Okay. The next step is basically turning delivery into marketing. So after one to two wins, I want you to message your clients. And this is exactly what I've done. I said, hey, would you be open to hopping on a 10 minute Zoom so I can record a quick testimonial? Nothing fancy, just you sharing how it's been working with me. And 99% of the clients, uh, assuming you've delivered, they're going to be like, yeah, sure. They'll be more than happy to do so. Okay. So I want you to use Google Meet or Zoom and ask simple questions. For example, what problems were you facing before? What results have you seen so far? What surprised you about working with me? And here's what to do. Okay. Check this out. Slap that video on your landing page and add a quote, logo, or maybe a screenshot of the results. For example, intros booked, meetings booked, etc email replies. And now you use that to get your second, third, fourth client. Okay. It's very simple, right? People are trying to make it super, people are trying to make it super, super confusing the AI and automation space. The only thing you have to do, literally pick a system or pick an automation that solves a real life problem, which is basically sales systems. Like, because we're literally solving a problem by automating cl a client acquisition for six to seven, all the way eight figure companies. Think about it. Like this is all they care about. Pick that problem, fix it, and do your outreach, get clients, and rise and repeat. Like, it's super simple, right? And people are trying to confuse people, and like, it's just so annoying in this AI automation space. But anyways, now the next step is rise and repeat. So close two to three more clients, because now we have social proof, right? So at this point, 
Just a heads up, you're not scaling yet. You're stacking proof and recurring revenue. Basically, want to get you out. What I what I mean by that is I want you to get out of that misery and that, you know, that's the survival place. Okay. So right now we're just want to take you out of that fire, right? So you can handle other fires, you know, more attractive, more attractive fires. Okay. So I want you to keep collecting wins, save screenshots, log every win, save happy DMs, and this all is going to come marketing later for our next stage. Okay. So congratulations. Now you are in stage two. Okay. I like to call this the family stage. Okay. So you validated your offer. You've got a few clients. You got one to two three clients, okay? You know how to get meetings, you understand how sales systems work, but now you have another problem. Now your calendar is full of low leverage tasks, okay? So you're still scraping leads manually, you're still sending follow-ups, you're still booking meetings yourself, and you also have to deal with admin nonsense, okay? So now the main bottleneck is not pipeline, okay? You already know how to get clients, okay? So the main bottleneck now is time and mental bandwidth, okay? So right now, here's what happens. You need more founder time, okay? Which is essentially focusing on the highest ROI tasks, the tasks that actually move the needle, okay? Uh, just to give you some context, okay? The highest leverage task for you when you first got started, first get started is outreach. That's the basically like the highest leverage task that you should be doing every single day. 99% of your day should be just outreach. But now the only thing you have to focus on is closing deals, talking to more potential clients. Everything else is just delegate it or automate it. Okay. So here's my step by step guide. Essentially, this is exactly what I've done. Okay. I've made a long, I've made a lot of mistakes along the way. But uh, the purpose of this video is to teach you guys and show you guys that. You need to learn from the mistakes of others. Just like Charlie Munger said, the only place that I want to know is the place where I'm going to die. So I never go there. Okay. So look and try to learn uh, from the mistakes of others instead of trying to come up with everything, you know, on your own. Okay. So this is the step-by-step -step guide. So now you want to hire a cheap VA for lead scraping. You also want to hire a cheap VA for campaign setup and by the way, you also want to document your entire process. For example, your campaign setup, I have an SOP, loom it, just one, loom it, what I mean, just record a quick loom for it and then pass it off to the VA, okay? I also want you to basically have SOPs for client onboarding, updates, and use templates plus auto senders, okay? Again, I... I built this so many times in this channel. Okay, so at this point, you're not building a company on your own anymore, okay? Which is which is the reason why I um, named this the family stage, okay? So you're building a lean squad that helps you move faster, okay? This is where the business shifts, right? So you're not you're no longer a solo founder, okay? You have a family right now, okay? Which is basically the uh, VA and inbox managers, okay? So you're no longer working in the business. Now you're working on the business, okay? So you're designing it how it runs so you can spend more time selling, delivering, and growing. See how these high leverage tasks, they stay up to the family stage? This is called leverage, okay? This is called leverage. And by the way, in the family stage, you're going to be making at least 15 to 20K a month, okay? Now, let's talk about the breakthrough, okay? Let's say you want to make more. You want to make 51K, just basically the purpose of this video is to get you from zero to 51K. Basically, this is like the leanest system, the most straightforward way, the simplest way to get you there. Okay, the stage three is basically the tribe. And what I like to call this is AKA good problems stage. So these problems are easier to deal with because you're not in survival mode, okay? Already have a couple clients, all right? So at this point, you've cracked the code, leads are applying, calls are booking, clients are signing, but now you're stuck in a different kind of pain, okay? Which, which is you can't fulfill fast enough, literally leaving money on the table. And I had this basically like a, nine months ago. And also sales goals are bleeding into delivery. So the main bottleneck here is that it's fulfillment and call overload. So it's not mental bandwidth or time. Well, now it's fulfillment and calls because you have so many calls right now, right? So at this point, you don't need more hustle, okay? Like contrary to popular belief, you know, you do not need to work harder. You do not need to work more. You just need to protect your energy and start systemizing, okay? This is called systemize, okay? So first we have outreach. The second thing is leverage. The third thing is systemize. Okay. And I'm going to show you guys how to systemize and like a child could understand. Okay. So Saad, what do I do at, at this stage? Well, productize fulfillment, standardize what you do. So for example, if you're using, I don't know, NA10 or make.com or instantly, so you would have the same tools, same process, same outcome. 
Okay, this is how you enter the territory of 50k a month, all right? So now you have the chance and you have the ability to actually pre-qualify. Just a heads up, you don't have to abil the ability to productize all the way from zero all the way to 25k a month. At that point, you're still like, you need to talk to everybody, get anyone as a client. At that point, you need to talk to everybody. But at, but in the systemized stage, what I like to call the tribe, well, now you can pre-qualify harder because, well, guess what? You can, you know? You can. Simply, you can, right? So now you can add a book in form with filters and you would have disqualifying questions. If you go to my website, I before I someone books a call, I like I need to qualify them hard. Are they actually able to invest in my sales systems? And then you'd ask them, what's your monthly recurring revenue? So at this point, your calendar isn't a suggestion box, okay? It's an invite only, all right? So at this point, you want to start documenting your process, documenting your delivery process, loom every repeatable action. A big mistake that I've made is I did not loom everything. So I had to like rewrite everything. So this is the stage where you hire closers, exactly my stage right now, okay? So I have 20 sales reps. It was a pain to hire them. Um, by the way, to give you guys some context, I did not just hire 20 sales reps off the bat because obviously I did not want to tank my revenue. I hired one and I will still get on, on calls, okay? Because I did not want to tank my revenue because if I bring a closer, they're still training, right? So they obviously their conversion rate is not going to be crazy, you know? So as they go in and they learn my process, okay? I'm, I start hiring more and I slowly but surely remove myself from sales calls. And now I don't take any sales calls unless it's a big whale and I need to be the face of my process, which is my own company. Okay. So at this point, you'd hire closers and you train them based off your uh, experience that you got from the two stages, which is essentially the lone wolf and the family stages, right? And now you get someone owning the delivery. Essentially, you would partner with other people, uh, which is the cool part about, you know, being in communities is that you get to know people that can be better at a few things. I like to call them the specialists. Okay. So you get someone owning the delivery. So now you've got sales, which is basically closers, fulfillments from getting somebody to own the delivery. And now your real job becomes orchestration, which is exactly the stage where I'm at, where I'm basically making about 120 to 139k a month uh, recurring revenue. Okay. So this is exactly what you should be doing. Okay. You're probably going to have to rewatch this video 10 times. So this information just solidifies and stay in your brain and your digestive. Okay. So now you're equipped with the knowledge and everything that you need to get up and running. The only thing you have to do is literally get out there, take action. I believe in you and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.